Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a 30 minute full body strength workout. For today's workout, you will need a set of weights, whether that's dumbbells or household objects. Today I am using a set of 10 pound dumbbells. For today's workout, we have two 15 minute sets. Each of the exercises are going to be 40 seconds on with a 20 second rest in between. And we're gonna do two rounds of that to equal 30 minutes. I hope you guys are ready. Without further ado, let's get to it. All right guys, first exercise we're going to do, you're going to bring the dumbbells up to your shoulders for a curl, down into a squat as you come up, dumbbells come above head for a shoulder press, control, lower down, curl, squat, press. So lock those elbows and then nice strong explosive movement at the top without locking your elbows out at the top. Good, set those dumbbells aside. We're headed to the ground. We're going to do just some regular push-ups. Now, you can do these on your knees, you can do these on your toes, but do them in the way that will give you the best form. Full 40 seconds, don't stop moving. Here we go. Good, staying on the ground, you're gonna grab one weight. We're going to come into a reverse bridge position. So dumbbell is in one hand and other hand is on the floor. Feet are flat on the floor. As you come up into this reverse bridge position, your arm is pressing out directly from the shoulder. You come down, switch arms, and press. Make sure you're squeezing those glutes at the top. Good, staying on the ground, you're gonna come down on your back. Next up, we're gonna do some weighted crunches. So dumbbell is above head, directly out from your shoulders. You're thinking about pressing your lower back into the floor and getting those shoulder blades up off the floor while keeping your gaze looking toward the ceiling. Here we go. Good, stand it up. Next up, we're going to do a single leg deadlift. So choose a side. Your working leg will be extended in front of you, but you're not going to lock that knee out. Keep a slight bend in it. Your back leg toe is popped. You're sitting back, hinging those hips just like you would in a regular dumbbell or a regular deadlift, and then squeezing at the top. So send them back, use those glutes, and up. 
keep that chin, neck, and back all in a straight line. Good, Just take a 20 second breather and then we're gonna do the other side. So really think about sitting into that working leg heel. So the leg that's extended out in front of you. You should really feel that in the hamstring. Good. Next up, we are going to do a burpee with an overhead shoulder press. So, starting out, palms are facing toward each other, you do a shoulder press. Down, dumbbells come to the floor. Jump those legs out into a plank. Back in, make sure you're sitting through those glutes to come up. So use those glutes and those legs to come up. Nice work. One dumbbell aside. Next up, we're going to do some side lunges. So, we're going to do one side at a time. So, choose a leg. You're sitting back into that heel, and then as you come up, you're going to curl the dumbbell upward. Make sure your chest is nice and lifted as you come down for that lunge. Sit into the heel and press through that glute. Good, 20 second rest, we're going to do the other side. So, legs are nice and wide. Really think about that curl, keep those elbows locked, control. Good, on the ground. Next up, we're doing a full sit up with the dumbbell. So feet are flat on the floor. Dumbbell is above head, sit up. Then here, you're gonna lock those elbows, drop the dumbbell down for a tricep extension, squeeze, 
and control down. Up, drop those hands down, and lower. breather here on the ground because next up we're going to do just some regular dumbbells. Oh my gosh, what is it with <laughs> dumbbells today? Oh my gosh, we're doing glute bridges. Okay, so dumbbell is on <laughs> your lap and you're going to press up for a glute bridge, squeeze those hips and lower. <laughs> oh my gosh. So sit into those heels, hips are pressed all the way to the sky every time. All right, sitting up, we're going to do some Russian twists next. So you're sitting on your bum, you're sitting back, you're gonna take the dumbbell, twist it, drop it to each side. Here we go. Good, standing up. Next up, we're going to do some reverse lunges, nice and simple. You're just gonna hold the dumbbells, step back, we're gonna do one side at a time, and up, down, and up. Nice and simple. As you step down, make sure that your body is kind of angled forward, so you're putting that tension on the glute, and then you step through, pressing through that heel. Good, take a 20 second rest. We're gonna do the other side. Make sure you're sitting back into that lunge. Good, all right, last exercise of this first round. You're going to do a back row. So you're leaning over, hips are hinged, and your back is flat. 
row, drive those elbows backwards. One more time, but this time you're going to do a tricep extension and down. Here we go. All right guys, that was round one. We have 15 seconds and we're going to start round two. So we're starting off with our curl to squat to press. Make sure you're controlling every movement. Don't allow that chest to drop as you go down for that squat. Good, dumbbells aside. Next up are our push-ups. If you're struggling to do the push-ups for the full 40 seconds, just take them slower. Or you can hold plank if you find that doing push-ups is too much for you to continue. But, Slow is okay. Here we go. Good, sitting on your bumps. Next up is our reverse bridge. Reaching up with the dumbbell. Squeeze those glutes. Make sure that arm is nice and strong. Good, on your back for some weighted crunches. Really try to make sure that each crunch you do is intentional. You're not just kind of flowing through. Really focus on squeezing and controlling on the way down. Here we go. Good, standing up. 
Next up are our single leg deadlifts. So you're kind of making a triangle position here with your legs and really remember to hinge at those hips. Take a 20 second rest, we're gonna do the other side. Here we go, back is nice and flat. Good. Next up is our burpee with our shoulder press. Really make sure when you're jumping it in from plank and you end up in this position, you're not using your back to bring those dumbbells up. You're sitting into the squat position and using those glutes to stand up. Here we go. All right, next up is our side lunge with our curl. So feet nice and wide. Really think about this curl. I know it's a light weight, but squeeze and control and feel the resistance on the way down. Don't drop that upper body as you go down into that lunge, sit back, press into that heel. Good, 20 second breather. Then we're going to do the other side. Come on guys, push through that heel, feel it in that glute. Good, 
Good work, to the ground. Next up is our full sit up. So make sure those feet are planted to the floor. Here we go. You sit up, drop those hands, keep those elbows locked and lower. Try to have a nice flat back as you sit up for this sit up and as you hold for your tricep extension. Good, take a breather here on the ground. We're going to do some glute bridges. Here we go, press into those heels, hips as high as they can go. Don't spend too much time at the bottom, just tap and then pop right back up. Good, sit up. Oh. Next up are our Russian twists. So make sure you're sitting back so you already have tension on those abs and make sure you're twisting all the way every time. Stand it up. All right, couple more exercises. We just got our reverse lunges and then our back row with tricep extension. So we're going to do one leg at a time. Don't forget about that core, keep it nice and tight. Press through that heel. Nice work, 20 second rest. We're gonna do the other side.
Nice work. Last exercise. We're doing our back row with tricep extension. So really make sure that your back is nice and flat and think about driving back with those elbows. So you're squeezing those lats and then you're gonna hold that position with your elbows and just extend the lower half of your arms. Here we go. Last one. Whew. All right, guys, that is it. Great job. I hope you enjoyed this 30 minute full body strength workout. And I hope you are enjoying the December challenge so far. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. Leave me your feedback in the comments down below. And if you're new here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.